In this video, I make my Honda CRV hood go from this to this. Stay tuned to see how. What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of JDM for All and we are back for another awesome video. We are going to be painting the hood of my Honda CRV, and it's about time because I've been talking about this for a while and I've been waiting for the paint to come and it is finally here. So as you guys can see, the paint does not look good at all. I've talked about this before. It is really bad. I did sand it down a little bit because there were some rough spots right here, right there, right there, and a few other small ones. But yeah, it is not looking good at all. But uh, not only that, this I think was here for a while. There are scratches. Um, there's a lot of wear on this hood. And there are little dings and scratches all over this paint. This hood has seen better days, that's for sure. Um, I'm not sure if it's showing up on camera, but there are a lot of imperfections on this hood and this hood just needs some love. So we are going to uh, redo this hood today. We're going to paint it and possibly gloss it. I do want to at least slightly gloss it and make it look a little bit better. And we're going to do that today, guys. We're going to make it look much better. I am not worried about making it perfect. I am not, I am definitely not going to be able to make it look like a a paint shop did it but it is going to look a lot better than this guys look at this I don't know if you guys can see that on camera but um, yeah it doesn't look as bad on camera as it does here but yeah it does look bad on camera <laughs> so that is not a good look guys and I definitely don't want to be driving this vehicle around with all of that so we're going to make it look way better guys we're going to sand it down just a little bit more um, just to make sure it is super smooth. Um, I'm not seeing anything too bad, but I do need to uh, feel around and make sure everything is super smooth on this hood. And then uh, we will clean it up and we will start painting. So I'm going to do a wet sand real quick. Basically, I'm going to get some really fine sandpaper and I'm going to wet it. And we're just going to sand down a few spots on here on this hood that more than likely will show through paint. Um, like these spots right here and if you guys saw the video where I installed these off-road lights Basically, these are awesome because I'm just going to take them off set them down up here Not a big deal. So yeah, they were right here Basically all I have to do is just move them back here and should be really easy to paint the hood That's one great thing about using these magnetic mounts So I'm going to start sanding right now guys. So I have some sandpaper right here. This is 320 grit so it's pretty fine and I'm basically going to fill around wow okay so this is pretty smooth that's pretty smooth um okay right here this probably needs a little bit of wet sanding all right so I sanded down some problem areas that will probably show through some paint I washed it and mostly dried it so now I am about ready to start painting this hood and I took off both of the off-road lights both of them are off so now next I'm going to use some paper and I'm just going to put them in all of the cracks of the hood just to block the paint and overspray from going off of the hood and uh, basically going anywhere else but the hood so it is mostly done guys I sanded it and cleaned it off and it is pretty smooth so next I will be painting it after I put some paper just to block some overspray and this is the paint that I'm using today which is the same paint that I used to paint my roof and my roof is still looking great. All right guys, so as you can see, I have paper all the way around the hood, so this should work really good. Um, I have a lot of junk mail, so <laughs> this isn't the best way to do this, but it will work, and I had so much junk mail, I thought, why not use it? So I'm using it, guys. So I am going to paint this hood right now, so I'll see you guys right afterwards. All right, so this is where I am so far. I just did a light coat just to give the rest of the paint something to grab onto so I don't have any runs or anything. 
and it should work really well. It, this is basically just a little bit of paint just to get started and it's time to put on some more paint. Okay, and this is about two or three coats in. It looks much better. It is all looking one color and it's looking uniform. It's a little glossy, slightly glossy. It does match the paint pretty well, but it is not as glossy as the stock paint. So yeah, if you look at the shine right there, it is looking good. Um, I'm really happy about this. Even if I left it like this, I would be much happier than I was before because it just looked really bad uh, with all of the white oxidation all over it, which is a given um, for an older vehicle. It looks good. So I'm going to give it a few more coats. It does look really good. I'm definitely happy about this. guys so this is after six or seven coats and it is looking really good it looks uniform and it is not super glossy but I do plan on glossing this in the future it looks great and it is all one color um, so those are basically all the steps that I take and my car is super dusty so I'm not worried about it really getting on the windshield it might have got on my windshield a little bit I will be cleaning that up but that's not a big deal. Um, the hood looks great, guys. I might be glossing it with some 2K later on. Um, so, yeah, it does need a gloss, and but it does look way better. I mean, look at this. So now the hood matches the roof. The roof was looking just as bad as the hood, and this is what it looks like now. And this is what the back of the roof looks like. And it matches the front. It was painted with the same paint, and it is pretty glossy. It's not the glossiest but yeah, it's, it, it does work. Okay, so this is what the paint looks like that I just painted. This is the hood, and it looks really good. It is not super glossy, but it does match pretty well. And here's the fender. So, I mean, not bad, not bad. Obviously one is much glossier, look at that. But yeah, I think they match pretty well. So now it's time to take all of these papers off and check out the whole hood and the finished look. All right guys, and this is what it looks like with all the papers off. It looks much better. I mean, this is pretty good. It does look great, at least for this off-road vehicle. It is not perfect. I do want to gloss it and sand it and make it look even better, but for now, I'm pretty happy with this. All right guys, so this is the next day after painting my hood. And I noticed that there were some spots over here that needed to be painted, so I wiped down the hood and painted over here, and it is looking great. I actually really like how it looks. So it was looking really powdery and not very good. I was actually not too happy with it because it was looking really dull and like a matte finish. And as you can see right here, it does not look very glossy at all. So I wiped down one side already. This side is still pretty much drying but it should be about dry right now so I just wiped down this side and it looks really glossy I mean it's not obviously stock glossy it doesn't look like the stock paint it really doesn't look like clear coat glossy but I'm actually really surprised by how shiny this paint is so after seeing how this side looks I am actually really happy with this guys I probably will gloss it um, maybe do a nice light wet sanding on it and then gloss it uh, I'm gonna have to give this thing a wash because the CRV really does need a wash. I took it off-roading and I only washed the hood before painting so I do need to clean it off. So I'm going to clean off the left side and uh, wipe it down really quick and I'll show you guys what the whole hood looks like during the day. So here's my hood after painting it and all I did was spray it down and it looks much better. So here's before. And this is before the paint, guys. It is really bad, and here's after. It is obviously not perfect, but it is much better, and I'm actually super happy with the outcome 
because I don't have a bunch of oxidation on the hood and I can't be any happier. She's pretty. She really is pretty. So this is my favorite gen. I always wanted this gen. I got it about four years ago and I had plans on lifting it and all of that. And I've done all of it so far, guys. So I am really happy about the CRV and she is coming along nicely. Really like it. All right, guys. Well, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for making it this far. I want to thank all of you guys for watching my videos and for all the support. We already hit over 1,000 subscribers. I am definitely excited about this, guys. I have a lot more plans and a lot more video ideas coming. And uh, yeah, guys, really happy about this. All right, so I will see you guys on the next video.